guys just wanted to bring you guys along for a dentist appointment potentially I woke up this morning and I uh, was flossing my teeth and one of my back feelings actually completely came off so I am gonna go to the dentist in town here with no appointments so I'm just gonna pop in and talk to the dentist he comes highly recommended haven't been here yet um, and we will see what he can do it's a pretty deep cavity and the whole filling came out. So we'll see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. I hate the dentist. <laughs> So I just spoke with the dentist and uh, he can't see me today. He's fully booked. He's a highly recommended dentist here. So he is uh, accepting me tomorrow at 6 p.m. And he's going to take a look and then determine uh, either a short-term solution or a long-term solution. So it'll be up to me to decide and we'll figure it out. He just needs to take a good look at it first. So we will keep you posted, bring you along tomorrow. Hello. Well, it's official. I can't take it any longer. I was gonna try to hold off as long as I could, but uh, it's 50 degrees, guys, and I'm getting my hair trimmed back a little more. I just can't do it. And I'm the hairdresser. <laughs> so, uh, everybody cross your fingers if you don't mind, and we'll see how this goes. Hold this. Sure. You need to stand straight, though. I am standing yes. That's as straight as I am. Okay. It's too late now. I ain't going back. It was eight <laughs> months, nine months of letting that grow and for absolutely no reason. It's just too hot in Mexico, guys. I couldn't do it. <laughs> That's why I got these on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Yay. there you go. We've got a new Donnie, new yep. captain. Woohoo! Lucky me. <laughs> yeah. The old one's gone. It's day two and uh, it's three o'clock. Actually, the dentist agreed to take me at three instead of six today, assuming a cancellation. And yeah, so I'm gonna go in and I have to decide like if dump, it's dump, dump. Yeah. permanent fix, temporary fix, what we wanna do here. So yeah. anyways we'll have them look at it and then keep you guys posted. I Wish offered me to, luck. I offered to do it, but apparently I'm just not qualified. No. no. <laughs> wow. Right? So uh, basically I just had a consultation and to look at my different options. Um, and we've decided that we're just going to do a, a big filling and to try and fill it up just to try to preserve my tooth as long as possible. And if that doesn't work uh, long term, yeah, it's possible to do an implant. Uh, but for the time being, the doctor feels like that's not necessary. So 
We're just gonna do a filling and I'm very excited. All right guys, I broke the golden rule. <laughs> My filling is complete. It took about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, the dentist was fantastic, great team. He had a fan he had a young assistant who just uh, actually did his uh, final uh, dentistry exam the day before. He was able to assist as well. That was fantastic. However, when all was said and done and it was time to pay, I then asked a receptionist how much it was. She went in the back room, consulted with the dentist, came back out and said 3,500 pesos. So <laughs> when she said 3,500 pesos, I was like, holy. Uh, so I broke my golden rule of not asking ahead of time how much it would be to get it done. So 3,500 pesos is probably about $275 Canadian, which to me is very steep to get dental work here in Mexico. With that being said, would I go back? 100%. I would absolutely go back, but I would not break my golden rule. Anyways, it's all said and done. We're going to move on and uh, check out the next video. I think we're going to prepare for Hurricane Idalia. The tropical storm is actually going to be hitting our region. And it's just going to form and build here for probably about three days. A very, very slow moving storm. And then once it starts to move up north, then it's going to really expedite to uh, turning into a hurricane. So we have some prep work to do very quickly. We'll bring you guys along and let you guys know what we got to get done. Hey guys. So we're just doing a little prep there for uh, Hurricane L. 10 uh, L. 10 L, sorry. So uh, the winds have started. It's coming. Uh, we're just doing a few little prep things, trying to get some laundry done before the three days of rain, even though we've already experienced five days of rain. Uh, we got numerous, numerous ropes all set up up and down the dock, both sides of the dock. Uh, luckily, these are floaters. Floating docks. Yeah, floating docks, so we should, we'll be all right there. Not we're hoping not to experience a whole bunch of storm surge. Uh, there's ropes going over to the other dock. It's got two ropes in the front here. Another one, smaller one in the front. Our bumpers are ready. The boat is actually tied off far enough from the dock that the bumpers aren't being touched right now. So everything's lined up. It's far away from the dock. And we're ready to go. There's a spaghetti stream of ropes across the back from the other boat as well. So anyway, a little bit of storm prep before it actually comes. I think it's being downgraded a little bit for our end of the world. And uh, we're going to do our best and we'll keep you posted as we go along though, but just want to show you a little prep. We're trying to still dry out the flybridge as you can see from the last five days of rain. So everything's opened up for now. Diggy's all nice and tied up. Everything's good. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. 